Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're watching me for the first time. Hello, my name is Mega and I do post fashion and makeup related content on my channel. And if this is something which interests you, then please go on, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And with that, let's just dive into the video. So in today's video, we are going to create a copper cut crease makeup and I will be using some of my favorite products and I'll be telling you about the product and what uh, like what are the favorite uh, things about that product in particular so without further ado let's get started and create the look with you all. So my skin is quickly clean because I just now used a face wash and I washed my face now next up we are going to use our eye cream and we'll be using the eye cream from my glam youthful range this is how the eye cream looks like it is the youthful my glam hydrating eye cream with water bank technology i'll take some of the mount and i'll apply it on um, under my eyes and uh, this product is so 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 moisturizing i literally can die for the product because it's so nice your under eyes literally does not feel you know it does not crease after makeup so you can use my link to purchase any product from my brand next up we'll be using uh, essence and for that again i'll be using a product from my glam which is their glow iridescent brightening essence infused with rosehip oil vitamin elixir it's like so 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 luxurious so 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 luxurious absolutely love the product like a lot and even the you know the glow it gives to my skin is so nice my skin feels so hydrated after the usage of this product i take some amount on my face I, I i usually take it on my fingers and then massage it and apply it but today i just took it directly this the fragrance is amazing it's so soothing and so nice feels really really nice on your skin and can you see the glow already my skin's glowing like a diamond literally my skin's glowing like anything right now it's so nice and hydrating absolutely recommend the product i won't be using any moisturizer today because we are going to use a product which is absolutely health moisturizing and yeah yeah the product is the glow iridescent brightening body lotion infused with rosehip oil vitamin elixir now this is from the same range for uh, like these are from the same range now this is a body lotion but i like to use it on my face because it adds amazing glow onto your skin so i like to use it so what i'll be doing is i take some on my uh, like on the back of my hands just like that i've taken two pumps of it then i'll be using a primer from my glam itself which is their my glam tinted primer uh, this is their banana primer and i'll take some of this just mix it with the body lotion i've taken this much if it's uh, focused you can see i've taken this much so i'll mix both the product and then i'll apply it this is a good way to you know make your primer dewy base like you you can get a very very dewy base at the same time all the pores will be filled up so you can use this hack in order to you know get a glowy dewy but yet all pores filled up base my skin looks plump and hydrated now it's time to put on some makeup so for my foundation today i'll be using two foundations the first one is the matte plus poreless fit me foundation by maybelline new york and the second one is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade medium moin so i've taken a uh, one spatula of the, this product the lighter shade of foundation and uh, i've taken like one pump this is almost over so it's not actually one pump one pump but the quantity is one pump so this much product i've taken i'll be mixing both of these products now what i'll be doing is i'll be adding some more uh, like this uh, body lotion in it so i have to give more dewy finish to my base i'll just apply this first and then i'll add some taking this fluffy brush and 
I'll start blending. Now next up we'll be using a concealer and for that firstly I'll be using this concealer from Swiss Beauty which is their liquid concealer in this shade 01 and the other one is the Sugar Concealer Magic Wand Waterproof Concealer in the shade 40 Brev and these are the concealers. So firstly I'll be using the darker shade of concealer just around my mouth to hide the grayness. Like Joby uh, foundation nahi chupa paya that I'll be hiding using this uh, concealer like angular brush so that I can precisely blend the concealer and because you don't want to move the concealer from that place because we have exact place where we have to cover it so obviously I am using a brush and I am just concentrating in that area only so after we're done with concealing, let's quickly go and set our face so that there are no creases. Maybelline New York Fit Me uh, Compact Powder in the shade Light Beige and uh, the powder is almost over. This is soon going into my empties video but for now let's quickly use this. I'll be using this fluffy brush. I'll just dip my brush into it, tap off the excess and... Uh, And just make sure that there are no creases before you set it because if you set the crease it's never going to go so first make sure there are no creases then only set it I made sure there are no creases now I have product here and I'll not look down and I'll set it we'll be baking today because we are doing like a heavy kind of look where there might be fallouts I have base makeup but not an issue we will be baking so I will place powder underneath so I'll let it sit for some time still then let's do our eyes and for that I will be using this palette from Cuffs and Lashes which is the changeable fantasy palette and just look at the palette it has so many beautiful shades colors it's super super I love the palette. My copper glitter is right here. So let's get started. So firstly, we need a transition shade and I'll be using this shade right here. This one as my transition shade. I'll tap off the excess and let's create. Look. A slightly darker shade in the same brush and I'll just place it above the concealing shade. So now I'll be taking a precise brush because I'll be placing a dark brown eyeshadow on the outer corners. And I want that blending to be very precise. So that is the reason I'll be taking a very uh, like tiny brush. This one is uh, from Bodice. And... Um, yeah, I'll be using the darker, like this dark shade brown. I'll tap off the excess and then just place it right here. I won't take it to a crease. I'll just place it below my crease, just on the outer edge, outer corner. Now what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting our crease. So for that, I'll be using a very flat brush right here. I'll take some concealer on the back of my hands. Now I'll be placing some uh, glitters uh, above the crease, like the concealer part, not on the crease, but only on the lids. So I'll be using this uh, product from My Glam, which is the My Glam Lit Lip and Eye Sparkle. So I'll be using this coppery sparkle, which is all a mess right now. Four uh, of these shades. If you want a swatch of those four now, let me know in the comment section. I would be happy to make it for you. And moreover, I am going to order the last two shades as well. Because why not? Because they're super, super amazing. Will never regret buying this product. Trust me on this. 
So now next up it's time to add some colors and for that we'll be using this palette from my Glam, which is the chisel it palette in the shade face value and this is how the packaging looks like. I won't open in the inside and show you because my highlighter is broken and I can't take risk because the highlighter is super super amazing. I just love it and I don't have Duralin so as to fix it but yeah this is how the palette looks like it's um it has a full size mirror in with it and i love the palette i'll be using this fluffy brush and firstly i'll be using this contour thing from here i bronzer and i'll just place it the bronzing shade in this palette is so pigmented it is amazing and the same in the sugar palette is not pigmented at all and that's the reason i don't use bronzers from sugar it's not pigmented at all okay at least for my skin tone it does not show up might be it shows up on a like bright skin tones fairer skin tones but on my skin tone it does not show up so this one's for me thank you my love for creating a bronzer for darker skin tones this is what i love about my glam they are literally listening to us and creating products as per us and i love my glam not just because i promote their brand they are uh, like sponsoring me products but because i genuinely recommend their products to all my family and friends because i love them and uh, yeah we're done with bronzing now next up i'll be using the same brush and uh, the blush from here and i'll just place it here that's pretty much i'll be doing with that palette now i'll be using this wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder uh, from wet and wild in the shade precious petal but it has a warm undertone this is the final look you guys i hope you loved the video and if you did then please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos i would love to make more such videos with you for you all and yeah with that we complete the look and yes bye